kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown, Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here in the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Dallas Cowboys All Decade Rebuild here on Madden 23. That is right, we return to the franchise and we are back. Back in week number five going up against the LA Rams who are horrible this season I don't know who they have on their roster we know they have Cooper Cup because we saw that at the end of last episode but other than that I have no idea who's on this team but obviously they're not doing very well we've been kind of struggling with Patrick Mahomes not saying anything bad about him as a player it's probably more on me as the person controlling him I've been throwing basically I think exactly two interceptions a game and I need to cut that out because that is starting to affect the stats and I don't like it so I need to figure that out I need to cut the interceptions out almost completely for my sake but if I throw one then I'm not I'm gonna be upset but I'm not gonna be as upset but I cannot I cannot keep having games keep having episodes where I throw multiple interceptions in a game this goes for this series and for the Baron series by the way uh, I need to cut that out I need to stop throwing interceptions and it's on me it's all up here it's all mental I need to figure it out so that's a goal that we have to have uh, the rest of this series going forward is stop throwing interceptions. Uh, the other goal is to keep on winning, obviously. We need to keep on dominating because the commanders are also pretty good in this division. So we have them to go up against who are probably going to be competing with us for the division, at least for the, the first half of the season they are. So we have that to worry about. We have to stop throwing interceptions. And I think we can do both. I have no idea. On the interception one, it's, it's up in the air. It's 50-50 if I'm going to throw an interception or not. I'm going to try my best to focus and have the best reads possible. But obviously, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into the episode. Stop delaying the inevitable of probably throwing an interception. We got the Rams 1-3 versus 3-1. and one. I can't wait. Let's get into it. Hit that like button if you're going to enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. Let's get it. Here we are, like I said, it's week five, going up against the one and three Rams. We have some players ready to negotiate. Jason Peters is ready. CJ Spiller is ready. Uh, Jason Peters, I would be interested in bringing back on a player-friendly contract. Uh, he couldn't find a, or he could find a better team in free agency that would match this current offer. So he says, uh, no, thank you to that. Okay, Jason, I see how it is very interesting i don't know what to uh what to make of that maybe we'll just have to find a new left tackle in for agency or something so weekly strategy with the la rams oh no wonder they have oh i was gonna say they have Derek carr i was gonna say no wonder they're one and three they've got Jer jordan love starting in a league full of like really good players but jordan love's not the starter it's Derek carr who is the starting quarterback of the la rams they also have ray rice so that's pretty cool good for them i'm gonna defend the short pass against eric carr if we need to adjust obviously we will navarro bowman is on the defense with malcolm jenkins that's a very good uh like very good one-two punch right there with jenkins and, and bowman we are gonna try to throw two passing touchdowns in this game and our three guys oh it keeps changing it ray lewis i don't want in here who is the guy that i want in here i had somebody but now I don't remember. Oh, I think it changed it because somebody's injured, right? That's got to be the, the case. Somebody got injured. I could have Dietrich Wise in there. That wouldn't be the, the bad a bad idea. But Bruce Irvin probably needs to be in there. Uh, maybe Bruce. It's either Bruce or Dietrich Wise. Let's put Dietrich Wise in there for now. For this episode. Who knows? Maybe that'll change if somebody gets healthy again. I need to check the injury list because I don't remember who is hurt, if there is anybody hurt. I know Julio's hurt. I do know that. Uh, but who else is injured? A lot of upgrades for the boys. We'll auto-upgrade all those. And then let me take a quick look at the injury report, see who's injured. So we've got Julio. That's right. Oh, and Julian Edelman. I forgot about that. Edelman was a part of the, the thing. That's why, uh, that's why Ray Lewis was in there. Because uh, he was a part of the focus trade. Okay, so we have no wide receivers. Julio comes back uh, next episode. But Julian will be back against the Bears, I think. Or against the Lions. Either one. 
Uh, I think it's the Bears, though. Let's take a look at this Rams roster and see why they are 1-3. and three. Maybe they've just gone up against really good teams and have, have had bad luck. I don't know. We'll take a look at them right now. They have Derek Carr as their quarterback with Jordan Love as the backup. We knew that. Running back is Ray Rice, Danny Woodhead, and Raheem Mostert. Okay, very interesting uh, backfield there. They have Cooper Cup. We saw that. We knew that going in. He was the only one we, we knew going in. Uh, Robert Woods. So they have the Rams receivers right here with John Brown, Jamison Crowder, Nicole Hardman, and Wandale Robinson. All right. Very intriguing receiving room. Obviously two really, really good players here. But then after that, they've got some speed, but they don't really have a lot of actual really good receivers. Very interesting. Tight end, they have Jason Witten and Max Williams. The offensive line is Anthony Costanzo, uh, Elton Jenkins, but he's hurt. So they're going to have Luke uh, Gadecki. Gadek? I don't know how to pronounce your name. You're a rookie out of Central Michigan. I apologize. But you are going to be starting at left guard. I feel bad for you. Creed Humphrey is the center. Ezra Cleveland is the right guard. And Panay Sewell is the right tackle. Lamar Houston, Ezekiel Ansah, and Jonathan Allen are the D tackles with Snack Harrison uh, as another D tackle. Hutch, Aiden Hutchinson is left outside linebacker. Navarro Bowman, D, uh, middle linebacker. Anthony Spencer, right outside linebacker. Corners are Asante Samuel Jr., Brandon Carr, Robert Alford, and Darquise uh, Denard with Andrew Booth, Booth, I guess. Solid corner, not great, not great actually. If Asante Samuel was developed a little bit more, I'd say it was probably a better cornerback room, but not great. But although we don't have a lot of receivers, uh, at least we don't have Edelman and Julio. Malcolm Jenkins is the free safety. Jeremy Chin is the strong safety. Young Wei Koo and Bradley Pinion are the kicker punter. Okay, so that team is not as bad as their record may suggest. I don't want to consider this a trap game, but it very well could be. Very well could be a trap game. We're just going to have to play our best football. We're going to SoFi and playing the Rams at home. So I think we can get this done. I think we can win this pretty handily. I don't know. Let's go find out, I guess. It's week five of the National Football League. All eyes are on Cooper Cup. He was terrific last week, racking up the receiving yards and reaching the end zone. It's the Rams and the Cowboys, just ahead on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good week five matchup in store here between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. Dallas Cowboys all-decade rebuild underway here from SoFi from beautiful California. Deshaun Jackson takes it out, and here he comes. Patrick Mahomes. 10.53 on the yards, nine touchdowns, eight interceptions. I told you. It's starting to affect the stats. I got to cut that out. Maybe if I focus on the run game today, maybe that will be better. Because Adrian Peterson has looked fairly strong and fairly dominant in the past couple of episodes. Uh, he's got 484 yards already and six touchdowns. So he has looked fairly strong the first month and a half or month or so of the season. We will go with a pass play here, even though I just said I should probably focus on the run. Second down and eight. I will hit Antonio Gates on that out route, and he will get the first down. I probably had either Johnson or Gates there, but I just saw Gates first because he made the cut first. So that's a big-time play. As long as we still have Calvin Johnson and Gronkowski, we're pretty much 
set to go. We don't need a whole lot of other receivers, but I mean, we have Jalen Waddle, we have Deshaun Jackson, so we have some good uh, guys off the bench that can come in and provide some speed and provide some big time plays. Back to back runs for Peterson gets really nothing. Second and three. I'm going to look for Megatron, and I did it again. Somebody punch me in the sack. I cannot handle my stupidity right now. God. I am the dumbest man alive. Forget the Flash being the fastest man alive. I am the dumbest man alive. Just punch me in the sack. That's the only way I'll learn. It's the only way I'll freaking learn. Of course I would make a dumb play like that. God, I'm not even frustrated at this point. I'm more annoyed at myself. Why would I? Wow. Ugh. And now they get a huge run with Ray Rice. Palomalu lays a big hit, but Ray Rice got a huge gain there before. And we're going to be down 7 nothing to start this game when we had the ball. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And it's all my fault, too, and I hate that hate that it's all my fault. Good hit from Will Thomas, but Ray Rice getting 10 yards a carry and I cannot handle it. Why are we letting Ray Rice run the ball all over us? I have no idea. Probably because I did defend the short pass, didn't I? So we might have to adjust that to the run game if they continue to dominate, but there is Terrell Suggs stopping Danny Woodhead. T-Sizzle right there. I bet if that would have been Ray Rice, he would have scored a touchdown on it or something. From the 16... Derek Carr cannot get away from Robert Quinn. I thought I was going to mess that opportunity up with Aaron Donald because I just missed. But Robert Quinn luckily was able to catch him. Thank God. It's third and 26 from the 30. We've pushed them into deep field goal range now. If we can get another sack maybe. Aaron Donald! He got there! Somebody bring this man down. That ball was out and we are knocked him out of field goal range. Aaron Donald with the sack strip fumble. They get the, the ball back with the offensive lineman, and we pulled him out of field goal range. Unbelievable. Back-to-back -back huge plays. Two massive sacks. Uh, that's what she said. And a big strip sack fumble from Aaron Donald there. I'm so happy I didn't miss the sack that time like I did the previous play. Luckily, Robert Quinn got him on that one. Adrian Peterson, huge lane. And Peterson's got some space to the 40. I'll take that again and again and again. Racks on racks on racks. And here it is. Adrian Peterson back-to-back -back huge plays. I'm going to go again. If they're not going to block it, give it back to me. Inject it into my veins. Keep feeding me more. Ryback style. Lamar Houston injured for the Rams. He must have been a backup that I didn't mention. My apologies. All right. Let's throw a touchdown pass and not an interception. I would like to actually complete some passes that didn't get picked off. And that almost got picked. Pass interference. Please, pass interference. I baited that so hard. Boom! I baited that so hard for pass interference. Against the Cowboys! They never... I don't think I've ever seen Madden call offensive pass interference. That is insane. Wow. That is probably the first time I've ever seen them call that. And that's, like, honest. Like, I don't think I've ever seen Madden call offensive pass interference. That's crazy. That's crazy that they called that. All right. Well, I guess I didn't bait it. And we go field goal 56-yarder. I think Vinatieri's got this. We're in a dome. There's no wind. I believe in Adam Vinatieri. We've plus, we've got focus kicker for 40-plus uh, yard field goals or something. So that should be good. And it probably would have been good from 60. That had some. That's had some carry to it. Adam Vinatieri drills a 56-yarder, and we lead somehow in this game. I have no idea how this is happening, but we lead three to nothing. We probably should be leading like 14 to nothing if we're being honest, but you got to take what there, and we've taken three points. We got super lucky with that fumble. Although the sack probably would have knocked him out of field goal range. It would have been a deep field goal. They might have kicked it. Uh, but that, that fumble and then him losing even more yards after the fact really helped us there. We got bailed out there. I can't believe they called offensive pass interference. That's insane, the fact they called offensive pass interference there. Patrick Willis does not deliver the tackle, but he does 
slow him down so the other guys can get there. Empty backfield, clear passing situation. They've got everybody out, all receivers. This is a clear sack opportunity. We're not going to get there, and we're not even going to get the interception. Earl Thomas kind of like was in a battle with Cooper Cup and got pushed away. Maybe you could consider that a push off. I don't know what happened. All I know is Cooper Cup caught the ball and got the first down. So that sucks. Really sucks. But Aaron Donald's got another sack. No, he doesn't. Terrell Suggs has got it. That's probably a half a sack. It is. So Aaron Donald got half of it. T Sizzle gets the other half. And that's our third sack of the day already. I knew this offensive line wasn't going to be able to compete with us. Especially that left guard who's like replacing Elton Jenkins. He had no chance. And uh, Aaron Donald blows up that run play. Finally, the first time we actually stop Ray Rice. All right, it's third and 18. Come on, boys. This defense has got to step up. One more big play. Dietrich Wise, he was in the backfield. Patrick, oh my God, that ball's out. Patrick Willis blew him up. And he was skipping and hopping because I pressed triangle one time. Oh my God, Patrick Willis blew it up and picked it up as well. That was crazy, Patrick. There was no need for that. You disrespected Ray Rice like that. Ray Rice has never been hit that hard. Oh my God, the ball's back out. I can't even make a joke about Ray Rice because now Peterson fumbled it. Ziggy Ansa recovers and it goes right back to the Rams. It's probably because I made the joke about Ray Rice. So Agent Peterson gets popped by, who is that? Gets popped by Malcolm Jenkins. We knew he was gonna be a factor. He pops that ball out. Deshaun Jackson was there. No, Jalen Waddle was there. Just went through his hands, and then Ziggy Ons is there to pick it up. Unbelievable. And the Rams, it's like that never happened. <laughs> it's like the fumble never happened. They get the ball right back. All right, so we got to go back on defense. The screen is there to Danny Woodhead. Big hit from Darrell Rivas. Only got a yard out of it. And Derek Carr is perfect from the field. He hasn't thrown many times, but he's perfect. So we got to try and disrupt that. Although I'd rather just get another sack opportunity here. And we did it. He's going to throw that incomplete. He's five for six. Third and nine. I believe in this defense. I do. I believe in the defense. Aaron Donald's fighting. That's a deep one. It's a slinger. Pat Pete. That's basically an arm punt. That's basically an arm punt. I'll take it, I guess. We get the ball back, so it doesn't matter. Pat P. What is Derek Carr doing? He just slung that ball. Is slung a worse slung? He threw that ball deep, basically, is what I'm saying there. And Peterson gets a couple yards out of it. And we're going to go to the passing game. I know the passing game has not been strong today because I suck. But we're going to go to it, see if it works. It's got to, right? It's got to. He's open. It's Deshaun Jackson. He's got speed. I caught that. I pressed square. I should have caught that in stride, but whatever. It worked. We caught it. It's big first down. We're going to give this back to Peterson. And hopefully Adrian Peterson can get a couple. He gets two. Whatever. The run game might not be there today. I mean, we got those big, like, 12, 13-yard carries with Peterson earlier. But other than that, it might not be there. Megatron first catch of the day. You know I love me some verticals. Whenever verticals presents itself, I'm going to probably take it. I'm a sucker for verticals. And if it's going to keep being Calvin Johnson down the middle, I'm going to keep abusing that. I don't care if it's ugly. I'm going to keep taking it. Peterson run game, nowhere. He gets dropped for a loss. Okay. Second and goal. I could probably send Gronk on a corner. I can. This corner might be pretty elite. Uh, forget it. It's not elite. It's going to be... Peterson, oh my god, he got hit real hard. Yikeskies. All right, this is probably the final play. Well, this is the final play of the drive or from the, of the half. What am I saying? Of the two-minute warning is what I wanted to say. Big touchdown, big touchdown. Adam Vinatieri on to hit the extra point, and he will drill it. Yes. 10-0. We've gotten very lucky. We've gotten very lucky with this Rams offense. They've fumbled it twice, right? Yeah, they fumbled it twice. They've picked it up once because they they picked it up on the Derek Carr fumble. They fumbled it with Ray Rice. Then they got lucky because the very next play, Peterson fumbled it right back to him. 
But then Derek Carr throws the very horrible pass down the field and Peter Peterson uh, jumps up, wins the 50-50 and picks it off. They've been sacked three times. I knew this offensive line was going to be able to compete with us. They've got good tackles, but their guard play is not great. Derek Carr will heave it out, out of bounds again. He was about to get sacked for the fourth time. A minute 55 to go. They get the ball to start the second half, so... They've got to make things happen here. That's going to be a nice catch. It's Jason Witten, first down. That was kind of like a bunch of congestion in the middle of the field, and he just happened to sneak through. Another quick throw. It's to Cooper Cup this time. Little Booper Bup action, and Booper will take it. Okay. A lot of grit out of him right there. Real lunch pail type of guy. Somebody that you definitely let date your daughter, that's for sure. That's going to be great, Ralph, from Cooper Cup. Oh, my God. He stiff-armed me out of my shoes. Cooper Cup down to the one. No, the two. Cooper Cup is having himself a drive. Wow. Okay. I was not prepared for the stiff-arm action of Cooper Cup. He stiffed me good. Oh, my God. I completely sold that sack because I tried a little... Uh, I tried a... Uh, a pass rush move with Bruce Irvin because I thought I was going to get blocked. And that's going to be wide open. It's the tight end, the backup tight end, Tyler Croft. And the Rams score. That was all Cooper Cup on that drive. He did two, he had two plays where he carried the boys down the field. He said, get on my back and I'll take you to the promised land. And he did that. 10-7. This game should be a lot more out of hand than it is we should have a lot more points i feel like but the score is what the score is deshaun jackson back to return we've taken one back already this season and he almost did it again i thought he was gonna break through that and get get past him but 33 yard line is very good adrian peterson i really appreciate if he didn't fumble again that's for sure all right let's see we got gronk going deep haven't even targeted him yet uh, but I think I'll just stick with Deshaun Jackson, and he will go out of bounds at the 41. Nice carry, or nice, uh, nice gain. 107 to go in the half. I like Jalen Waddle underneath here. And that is what I'm gonna do. Jalen Waddle gets the first, I think. He should. He does. A minute to go. We go verticals. Because Gronkowski is open and he dropped. I knew that was going to happen. I tried to press uh, secure catch, but it was already too late. The, I already had pressed uh, kind of catch out the run or run after the catch. That's stupid. But whatever. We go play action here. It's Jalen Waddle gets us in a field goal range. We'll use our first timeout. Perfect. We've got three timeouts. We're going to go with a seam. Or we got two timeouts. We got a seam divide coming here. We are into Vinatieri's field goal range, especially in a dome. Oh my god, Waddle's wide open. What's the coverage doing? Who needs Vinatieri when you've got Jalen Waddle? Touchdown, boys. We need to go back and watch this on the replay. What happened here? So the seam divide works to perfection. And Jalen Waddle, we need to go and watch this. So Jalen Waddle... He has his man covering him, but he just gives up on the route. And Jalen Waddle's wide open in the middle of the field. Wow, unbelievable. Who's covering him? Who is that? That is Darquez Denard. Just gives up on the route, allows inside leverage, and nobody's catching Jalen Waddle, one of the fastest receivers in the league. Unbelievable brain malfunction from Darquez Denard, and the boys lead 17-7. The 10-point advantage is back on the board. You love to see it. Uh, that never happens in Madden, at least not for me. Usually when it happens, it happens against me. But I will take that for sure. That is a wide open player down the middle of the field. And I, I'm just glad that Mahomes didn't mess it up. That would have been my luck. We would have got a wide open uh, receiver, but Mahomes overthrows him or something. Cooper, that was, Cooper Cup only has one touchdown this year. I know we're only like week five, but still. Cooper's got to be getting a lot more touches than that. Maybe that's why they're one and three. That's a big throw. Joe Hayden, you should have had a knockdown there. Cup catches the ball. Great catch by Cooper Cup, but that's got to be a knockdown. 
Whatever. Second and in inches, 29 seconds. Two timeouts for the Rams. They just used one. Big hit from Pete, from Pat Pete. That's their second timeout. Not in field goal range just yet. Who was their kicker? Young Way Koo? He can kick some pretty deep ones. He's got a good leg. Love to keep an eye on that. Uh, I could really use a sack here, but Carr's going to have an advantage. Keep him in bounds, Joe Hayden. Good job. Final timeout. And they're going to use the timeout with 18 seconds left. If we keep him in bounds, the accelerated clock will go. They won't be able to kick a field goal. So we got a huge play here. Keep him in bounds, and we, we win the half. We survive, and that's exactly what we do. There's no way they got a field goal chance. They're not even going to do it. Boom. Big play. And we go into the half up by 10. And we are going to go with... You know what? I'm going to go with the run inside method. Let's go with that. And then we are going to try and contain the short pass of Derek Carr. Because they seem to have abandoned the run. Smart because they're down 10 in the third quarter. So it makes sense that you would abandon the run. But still, it's Ray Rice. And he's he was gashing us for some big 10, 12-yard carries while he was in the first half. So we'll see what we do here. Derek Carr getting some words of wisdom from... Everybody's favorite backup quarterback, Jordan Love. Carr starts the third quarter under center. They do a play action fake, and it's going to be a throw to Ray Rice. And I missed the tackle because I'm an idiot. And I'm horrible at this, this freaking game. And Ray Rice gets a lot more yards than he probably should have. Yay. <laughs> God, I suck. I am just the worst. I don't know why I even play. I am just horrible at this game. Oh, that's wide open. Peterson tried the acrobatic catch, but it's caught by Robert Woods, maybe? Who is that? I can't tell. Oh, it's John Brown. The 80 overall John Brown, 22 years old. Okay. They go back to Ray Rice, so they don't abandon the run officially. They did kind of in the second quarter, but... In the third quarter, they go back to it at least for one play. Second and five from the 40. We really could use a big defensive stand here. Ray Rice will get nothing. I got a yard. And it is third and four. This is a probable passing situation, but could clearly be a run. Ray Rice is very good, but it's going to be a pass. Carr's got time. He finds his man. It's the tight end. Jason Witten breaks off the first tackle. Gets brought out of bounds by Earl Thomas, but Jason Witten does enough damage to not only get a first down, but get into the red zone for the Rames. And it is first and 10 from the 18. Down by 10. Carr with the snap. He finds his man. It's Witten again. He breaks off another tackle. Dear Lord in heaven, baby Jesus, why? Why can I not tackle anybody? Ever. It doesn't matter what series it is. I'm always break, I've am always always got broken tackles. And I can never do the same thing. I can never break any tackles. Kind of frustrating. Oh, jet sweep. I would have had a sack. I would have had a sack with Aaron Donald if that was a, if that was a play action fake and Carr would have kept it. Aaron Donald was in the backfield. He was sniffing. He was sniffing the sack of Derek Carr. Come on, get to him. That's nobody's nobody's got a chance at that one and it's going to be a waste. They will take their 3 points. Very interesting. Very very interesting. All right, so they kick the field goal. Young Way Koo puts it through. They're down by a touchdown in the third quarter. We got to score again. That's all we got to do. We got to score again and just keep extending our advantage. And it might be to Sean Jackson kick return. It's not going to be. Nope. He got to the 27. Good job. He felt really slow on that one. I don't know what that was. All right. Peterson, we know what he's done. We'll give him the ball to start the half or to start our drive. See what he can do. Maybe he can take it for 15, 20 yards. Probably not. He will take it for about eight, nine? About nine. That's good. I'll take that. So will uh, Mike McDaniel. He's clapping over there on the sideline. Loves what he's seeing from his offense, although kind of upsetting what he's seen from his offense. Adrian Peterson will break the tackle and get the first down. What does he have to do to get his... Uh, his thing activated he has to rush for 10 plus yards three times he's almost done that he's two out of three he would have got it if he would have got the first down on that first down play uh the first play of the drive 
Second and eight. We'll go to a passing situation here because Gronkowski's wide open. Rob Gronkowski holds on to it. Big play. I was worried he was going to drop that, or I was worried he wasn't going to catch it in the first place. But he does hold on for the catch. Huge. First down and 10. Give this ball back to Peterson, and Adrian Peterson will get the carry, and he'll break a tackle. Adrian Peterson keeps carrying people. 96 yards total. Adrian Peterson was carrying fools to the seven. And now he's got freight train activated, which means I'm pretty sure he breaks the first tackle. Guaranteed. That didn't seem like a break, broken tackle. That sounded like he got broken bones. Second and goal from the six. Uh, yikes, skis. I hate that. 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 Why do I? Why am I horrible? I suck. That's a holding call. God dang it. I'm just glad they didn't get picked off, to be fair. Yeah, thanks, Jason. You were arguing about your contract, and you got a holding call. We'll take our three points. That extends it back to a two-possession lead, so... It's fine by me, I guess. No, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't accept mediocre play, because that's what's happening right now. Not only from this team, but from me especially. I'll take it. Whatever. 17 seconds to go in the third quarter. We basically got to hold on for seven minutes. If we can hold on to this 10-point lead for seven minutes, we can win this game, and we can go to 4-1, and one, and I'll be happy enough. I won't be super happy because of the way that it happened, but I'll be happy enough. I'll even put his little tattoo. I didn't even notice that. They put his little wrist tattoo that he's got. You think he has to sign a, a release for that little tattoo? Is that Are you going to really call uh, roughing the passer on that? That ball's out. you got to be kidding me. They're going to call roughing the passer on that play with... Oh, my God. I cannot even believe my eyes right now. Oh, uh, I can't look. Ah. Uh. No! You can't call roughing the passer on that. You can't call roughing the passer on that. It can't happen. That's rough. That's roughing the passer. Aaron Donald, what are you doing? Ah! Uh, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe my eyes right now. They that's roughing the passer. We popped the ball out. I cannot even believe it. Oh, second and seven. They've only run the ball seven times. Maybe that's why you're losing. You were killing me in the run game. That ball's out again! Baby Jesus has praised me! Baby Jesus, thank you very much. Oh my god. That ball came out at the best time physically possible because now we have an opportunity to get this game done and over with. Adrian Peterson is carrying the boys. Who needs a passing game when you've got freaking AD all day? All day. That's what I'm talking about. Second and six. Give it back to Peterson. He's got another carry. He's just driving him. He's riding him hard, and we're putting him away wet. Yes, sir. So that's what I want to do to Adrian Peterson right now. Let's give it back to him again. He's going to break that tackle. He's going to keep going for extra yards. He's going to lay on top of a lineman. I don't know what's happening. He got a yard out of all that. All right. It is... Ooh. What do we go with here? What would be open? I have no idea. Uh, Gronkowski's the best option there. Good catch. Good catch from the Gronk. We will go back to Peterson because he should break the tackle. He does, and he falls forward to the four-yard line. 132 yards for Peterson. He has dominated today. They're stacking the box, but this run or this touchdown could very well put the boys away to the three. Peterson will be denied. 
But that just that's okay. That just wastes more time, I guess. If we give it back to Peterson, he gets it, falls in for a touchdown. Adrian Peterson has salted away the Los Angeles Rams. Man. What a drive for Peterson. He really carried us to this victory. It didn't look like it at the start, but he really did his due diligence here. He did his thing. Yes, you can flex on them hoes. Flex on the haters there, AP. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yes, sir. Uh, uh. Flex on them haters. With four minutes to go in this game, we will add the field goal 27 to 10 the Rams are done man the fact that we forced a fumble but on that same play got roughing the passer called against us and then the fact that a couple of plays later maybe even the next play I don't even remember it might have been the next play it might have been a couple plays later we forced another fumble and get that one back no penalties man what a wild ride what a wild ride and we will go up 27 to 10 with the Rams having all three timeouts, four, four minutes to go, but they are going to have to chuck this ball down the field, and they haven't had very good luck doing that. It'll be good. Wide open, middle of the field. Palomalu lays a huge hit. I thought for a second that ball was coming out again. I thought that was coming out one more time. Derek Carr will snap it from under center, first and ten. Just keep throwing to Cooper Cup. He's been killing us. Jimmy Smith, good hands. Knocks that ball out, swats it away. Good deflection. Second and 10. From the 42, Derek Carr audibles, changes the play. All right, he puts Cooper in the slot. And he's going to go to Cooper. Open, Cooper Cup. Huge hit for Palomalu has destroyed Cooper Cup. He's got receipts, and Cooper Cup is paying him. Man, Palomalu is laying some hammers. 127 yards, though. I knew Cooper Cup would be dangerous today. Luckily, it hasn't really translated to points. That's going to be intercepted. Oh, Joe Hayden, turn your body around. But I feel like I'm watching the Buckeye defense there, Buckeye secondary. Nobody turns their head around. Come on, Joe Hayden, you're a veteran. Turn that head around, pick that ball off. Carr, why'd you throw that? You had somebody out of the backfield that probably would have got you at least a couple. Maybe it would have been lost yards. I don't know. I couldn't really tell, but he threw that into double coverage. And Aaron Donald's got the sack. Easy. He wathed. I don't even know what I'm saying on that. He wiped right through the center there. No shot. Activates Fearmonger. That's not good for the boys. Fearmonger has been activated. And Derek Carr will heave it one-on-one. -on -one. Darrell Revis picks it off. You try to go one-on-one -on, -one on Revis Island? I don't think so. Think again, my boy. And he gets around everybody. Oh, Derek Carr pushes him out of bounds. You can't go one-on-one -on, -one on Revis Island. You get locked up. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Huge defensive play for Revis. What is that, his second interception of the season? Maybe. And they're not even going to use their timeouts because they know this one's over. They still got the two-minute warning, but still. This one is over. Peterson gets through. Huge carry. Adrian Peterson, 25 carries, 154 yards. You might as well see how many he can get. This might be a career day for Peterson. Maybe breaking a Cowboy record. I don't even know. I don't even know what the, the Cowboys single game record is for rushing yards. We might as well try to break his, we might as well get as many as possible. Especially if he's still got freight train activated. Oh, that's a broken tackle, but he couldn't break the other one. Good play from Bowman there. It's third and six. We are in field goal range, so I guess we can go up by 20 if we need to. Give this to Peterson. Great blocking. I need you to break that tackle, man. Fourth and five. 158 yards is fine. I don't know if that's going to be enough for the single game record. He's probably in the 200s for that. The Cowboys have had some good running backs over the years. And Vinatieri will put that one up and through. Easy, does it? 30 to 10. Almost got blocked, really. There was a good chance. But we put it through. We wasted a couple minutes. Minute 14 to go. And they have all three of their timeouts. But if Derek Carr is going to throw like he's been throwing on the past couple of drives, we might get another interception. Who knows? Who really knows what's going to go down? 
Sean McVay trying to talk to Cooper Cup saying, I know your quarterback sucks, but you've been playing well. Try to do a little bit more. We'll see what happens. Still Fearmonger activated. So I finally get to use it at least. Minute 14 to go. Derek Carr changing the play. He's tried that a couple times now. Hasn't really worked. And we will see what happens here. And that's going to be caught by... Who was that that caught that? That might have been John Brown that caught that. And Ray Lewis is there. He was coming after him from the get-go. Ray Lewis with a sack. Man, he's got a killer sack right there. And that's going to be... Oh, my God. That's probably unnecessary roughness, but whatever. I'll take it. Aaron Donald has been deactivated from X Factor. Third and six from the 39. 30 seconds to go in the game. It's going to be Derek Carr again. Patrick Willis was right there. Timeout called by the Rams. Why? <laughs> You're down by 20 with 26 seconds to go. One touchdown is not going to win you the game or get you tied. So I don't know why the timeout was called there, but whatever. Maybe they think they've got a chance to save some dignity here. Good catch from Cooper Cup and another timeout called. They must think they can get some sort of dignity back and score another touchdown here. More power to him, I guess. Here we go. Carr in the backfield. Has a man open. It's one-on-one. -on -one. You cannot throw one-on-one -on, -one on Revis Island. You get locked up. He is doing a good job on Robert Woods over there. Locking that man up. And Donald... It's Revis again! Oh, that's my fault. That's my fault. I pulled Revis too far to the back. I pulled Revis too far to the back. Watch this. He just heaved it to the corner of the end zone. Watch the way that Revis reacts to this. This is 100% on me. I pulled him too far to the back. That's not a bad That's not a bad play by Revis. That's not anything. That's 100% on me. I'll take the blame on that one. I accidentally moved him too far because I thought I was still... Aaron Donald so I was using the analog stick to get to the quarterback obviously and I uh, turned into Revis and I pulled him too far they're gonna go onside kick they think they have a chance here I'm not gonna call a timeout they might as well kick it it's gonna go to McGroin and he will go down you know what we're in field goal range again one one decent run from Adrian Peterson who still has his x-factor activated one decent run, and we could get a huge field goal to extend our lead even more. Peterson keeps going. Go down, Pete. Oh, I couldn't get the timeout off. He kept fighting for extra yards. Whatever. We win 30-17. to Huge win on the road against the Rams, although they were a one-win football team at the point that we played them, but I'll take it. I only threw one interception this time, though. <laughs> 13 for 17, 186 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. A uh, huge game for Peterson. 29 carries, 160 yards, and a touchdown. I'm going to Google that, what the single-game rushing record for the Cowboys is. 168 might have been enough. Maybe not. Three, ca uh, three catches, 59 yards, a touchdown for Waddle. Three and 44, and a touchdown for Johnson. Defensively, Palomalo had six tackles. Patrick Willis had eight. Thomas had six as well. Ray Lewis had six. We sacked Derek Carr a bunch. Two and a half for Donald, one for Quinn and Lewis, and a half for Terrell Suggs. Picked him off twice, Revis and Peterson. Arguably should have been twice for Revis, but whatever. We had three forced fumbles, Joe Hayden, Patrick Willis, Aaron Donald. And we only picked up two, Willis and Ray Lewis. Patrick Willis picked up his own forced fumble. And that is the game. 30-17, to 17, we go to 4-1, and one, and we're looking pretty good. I gotta clean up the offensive stuff, but we're looking pretty good nonetheless. Okay, next episode, we will play week six against the two and three Philadelphia Eagles, our hated rivals. We will go on the road to Lincoln Financial in Philly. Uh, I did look it up, by the way, while I was uh, simulating. Uh, the single game rushing record for the Dallas Cowboys is DeMarco Murray, 253 yards in 2011. So yeah, we didn't, we didn't get really that close. <laughs> we were about less than 100 yards away from getting that. So hey, it is what it is. They've had a lot of good running backs in their time. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.